a short goodbye before pu- uh, pushing her way through the dorm's doors. Uh, I sat and looked ar- at them for a while before making my way to my own dormitory room. Ah, can I do the trick? Is it doing it? Mm-mm, mm-mm. No, I didn't do it. Damn it. There you go. Hold up. I'll be right back. Enjoy that. Sorry about that. I had a bum my nose. Ah, the chirping birds. Ah, ooh, ooh, yeah. Scratch the balls. Yeah, uh-huh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, good job, Asa. All right, touch your nipples. All right, good, good, good. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, normally, this would be a good time to reflect upon the beauty of nature. But it's 6 a.m. What the fuck are you doing? Actually, no, last night I fucking had terrible time sleeping. Like... I don't know if this is just me. Like, when I'm really fucking comfortable in my bed, I snuggle on my blankets and shit. Well, not bed, a couch. I know, a couch. Like, I can't... I don't want to be woken up, obviously. But I can't wake up like five fucking hundred times last night. I woke up at 1 a.m., 3 a.m., fucking 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m., 5.45. Finally, when it was 6 a.m., I was like, fuck this, y'all now. I'm going to just fucking get up and do whatever I have to do. It was that fucking weird, dude. I don't know. At the time. This is not the podcast. Moving on. Covering my head with a pillow, I slammed my face into the mattress, hoping that the impact would send me instantly back to sleep. Futile. I tossed and churned, but sleep simply won't return to me. I think you have too much energy, Sal. Just run around. Have some exercise. Do all that good stuff. Yeah. All right, Nature, you won. See? I'm getting up now. The lack of sleep weighs my my mind down, and there's only one remedy for this: a nice hearty breakfast. Really? Okay, you go to all right cafeteria. Not bad. It would be nice to be the first person here to be the first to dig into the piping hot pile of food to sit wherever I desire. It would have been nice, but even my exceptionally early starts put me behind the most diligent students. I guess there are quite I guess there, there are quite a few people that have early starts here for one reason or another. A group of students in sport, clo- uh, sport clothes huddle around one table, eagerly discussing uh, game plans in between, inhaling gr- great gulps of food. Scattered around the hall are a number of barely eyed students, probably suffering from the same alignment, alignment, I don't know the word, I'm sorry, as myself, noisy birds. And of course, there are people that actually enjoy getting up this early. Who the fuck does that? The ones with their bags stuff, wow, with that book, textbooks and completed homework. Now, I understand if you're, like, going to work early and you're like, all right, I gotta get used to it. Fuck it, why not? But why would you enjoy it? I, I used to wake up at 6.30 a.m. on the dot or a little bit before or a little bit after, really, to get ready to go to school. And then at 7 a.m., I would go off and go to school. And, I, and then, by the way, it's, like, an hour away from where I live. Uh, well... Yeah, an hour away if you bust it or if you take a car. Maybe like 45 minutes if you take a car, but that's not the point. I, I fucking, I would just sleep on the way. Because fuck that noise. Sometimes I had, to, whenever I had it to the bus, I would have to walk to the, I would actually have to leave earlier, so 6.40 a.m. Walk to the bus so that's 20 minutes away, or depending if I rush or not, uh, from my house. And then I could take the bus. And oh, I fucking hated it. The cold fucking early mornings. If you had a shitty night the, the night before, oh. Dude, fuck that, dude. Fuck that noise. Moving on. It's hard not to uh, despise people like that. Even more when you're when you're so even more so when you're the, when you're tired yourself. Picking out familiar face from the thin crowd, I head towards the nearest table. Lily sits alone, dedicated. Really, Lily. Okay. Dedicately filling her way around a small plate of eggs with a fork. It's almost a shame to interrupt her in her clockwork movements. I wonder, is this how a blind person zones out? Simply moving into predetermined patterns. Uh, learned over the years, just like how a sighted person would eat while reading a newspaper. Good morning, Lily. I didn't expect you'd be up here this early. Oh, Sal, you startled me. I didn't know you took breakfast this early. I don't. This is an exceptional uh, exception to the rule. I greatly prefer to be to be late to school than early to breakfast. 
Then he gets a small sigh at my admitted tardiness as I begin eating my food. It doesn't take long for her to laugh back into her previous mindless nibbling. Each short motion lacks energy. I suppose this is similar to letting your eyes wandering while performing any ordinary charm. But after a few reputa- re- <coughs> repetitions of the fine food slash eat, food cycle, Lily puts down her fork and dabs her lips with a napkin. Hiss out, do you mind if I ask you a question? Oh Shit! Damn! All I want is a little food and about... That sounded way to me. Damn! All I want is a little food and about four hours of sleep. And nobody says, can I ask you a question for a simple question? Ah! Uh. Alright, fuck it. What up? Sure. Do you think Nanako has a friend? Oh, God! Oh, shit! I'm even Fuck this voice! Ah, God damn it. Well, it was about to come up now. All right, Sal, you got to add to this. Good. Now, obviously, they've been talking because they're close like that. Uh, most likely, Hanako uh, likes you when she's talked about you. So that's what probably Lily's trying to ask. It's the typical, you know, I guess, girl. Th- Wait a minute. Time out. Lily isn't with two L's, is it? Her name. No way. I thought it was one L. L-I-L-Y. I thought... Was I wrong? (laughs) Oh, God. Huh. I don't know. Moving on. Uh, Yeah. uh, Don't don't downplay it. You should probably say, well, I probably think of her more as as a, you know, something else or something. Come on, Asal. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. You watching. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Come on. Chat with me. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up! And... God damn it. Huh? Seems like a leading question. I I guess so. God damn it! What? He fucked it up. It's because he went to private school. Yes! Alright, moving on. I, I guess so. Why do you ask? No real reason. Bullshit! I do have another question though. Why is it you think of her as a f- What the fuck is with the questions, woman? I just wanted to eat! Ah! Oh, wait, wait, music is coming. Hold up. Ah. I haven't heard this music in a while. Holy shit. I've, I uh, downloaded the soundtrack to the game or novel. So I just been listening to that. Oh, it's so amazing. Four Leaf Series did a great job on this, on this dude. Ah, this is coming. Just listen to it. Sit back and just relax. Just listen. Ah, I love how music could just set the mind at calm, you know? But, um, anyway. Alright, let's see where this goes. This is well above my level. What is she expecting from me? Uh, I'm not really sure. I guess it's because she's a little different in the way she deals. What the fuck is that, Asal? 